Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well, and in this video I'll be talking about Pantera, which is quite an interesting name, and give you my thoughts about this band. I hope you enjoy, or at least find this video informative. But first, a thank you to Trevs for suggesting the topic of this video. Now, for those who are unaware, according to Wikipedia, Pantera was an American heavy metal band from Arlington, Texas, formed in 1981. The group's best known lineup consisted of the Abbott Brothers, drummer Vinnie Paul and guitarist, guitarist, <laughs> and guitarist, that's better, Dimebag Darrell, along with vocalist Phil Anselmo and bassist Rex bassist Rex Brown. In addition to their development and popularization of the groove metal subgenre, Pantera is credited, along with others such as Testament, uh, Sepultura, and Machine Head, for being part of the second wave of thrash metal scene from the late 1980s to the early to mid 1990s. <clears throat> Pantera is regarded as one of the most successful and influential bands in heavy metal history, having sold around 20 million records worldwide, and having received four Grammy nominations. Having started as a glam metal band, Pantera released three albums in the mid-1980s, with lead vocalist Terry Glaze of Metal Magic, Projects in the Jungle, and I Am the Night, with little success. Looking for a new and heavier sound, Pantera hired Anselmo in 1987 and released Power Metal in 1988. They secured a record deal with major label Atco the following year. Their fifth album, 1990's Cowboys from Hell, popularized the groove metal genre, while its 1992 follow-up, Vulgar Display of Power, achieved an even heavier sound. Far Beyond Driven in 1994 debuted, uh, debuted rather, at number one on the Billboard 200, which sounds very interesting. <clears throat> Tensions began to surface among the band members when Anselmo became addicted to heroin in 1995. Not good at all. He almost died from an overdose in 1996. These tensions resulted in the recording sessions for The Great Southern Trend Kill, 1996, being held separately. The ongoing tension lasted for another seven years, during which only one studio album, Reinventing the Steel, in 2000, was recorded. Pantera went on hiatus in 2001, but lingering disputes led to the band breaking up in 2003. The Abbott Brothers went on to form... Damage plan while Anselmo continued to work on several side projects, including Down, which Brown joined as well. On December the 8th, 2004, ladies and gentlemen, Dimebag Darrell was shot and killed on stage by a mentally unstable fan during a Damage Plan concert in Columbus, Ohio. Vinnie Paul went on to form Hell Yeah with his brother after his brother's death, and died of heart failure in 2018, leaving Brown and Anselmo as the only surviving members of the band's best-known lineup. And that's the end of the description, or the, not description, that's the end of the explanation. And we're in the four minutes now, Jesus, let's get going. Now, personally, I don't know much about this band, ladies and gentlemen, but since it was suggested to me, thanks again, by the way, Trevs, I felt obliged to give my thoughts about Pantera, after a bit of investigating, which usually consists of internet browsing, but in this case it was mostly samping, sa samping. <laughs> it was mostly sampling the uh, music of this band, I have found this band to be worthy of its reputation within the metal music genre, and I, as I would describe Pantera as one of... Ooh, let's say that again. <clears throat> through their music and vocals. Fuck, I can't even read my own script. Let's try it again from the start. I have found Pantera to be a worthy band regarding its reputation within the music metal genre. 
as I would describe this band as one whose greatness was only ever equaled by its instability, that's better, eventually collapsing as a result. Though their music and vocals are not really my cup of tea, folks, I can understand why so many enjoy their music, and more power to those people. Hopefully this band will always be remembered for their efforts and provide entertainment for fans old and new for many more years to come. Ultimately, folks, I do recommend that you check out this band, especially if you are fans of metal music. I wish all the surviving members of Pantera the best of luck in all of their future endeavors, as well as a long, peaceful, and prosperous future. For that, we can only hope. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video as well as all the bloopers that were within it. I'll spare you the outro because we're at nearly six minutes. So I'll end this video by wishing you all a great day. Until next time, folks. Bye for now.